Oh god. Hey, welcome back, by the way, to the Goalie Be a Pro series, and we are greeted again with another start against the Chicago Blackhawks. And if you watched the end of the last episode, well, you know exactly how that went. And I am dreading this start because we could not contain them, and we can't contain JT Comfer. I can't even sim the first period without getting scored on already. One goal on two shots, and it just continues. First period simmed. And that is it. JT Comfer's goal is the only one on the board for the first period of play. Second period of play. JT Comfer again with 21 seconds left in the period. He has scored. Where did JT Comfer score from in the first period? I thought he scored from the same area. Yeah, pretty much in the slot. The one in the second period, basically in the goal, in the goal crease. Probably a deflection. Who knows? My goal is to not allow any more goals for this game. Well, my goaltender in the game, I cannot make him stick up a middle finger, but if I could, he would stick it up at JT Miller right now after the way we've opened up this game. Where's the puck there? Perico already off to a frantic start. I just jumped into this game, and the last time that I played a game and started a game... It was in this exact arena against this same exact Blackhawks team, and it didn't go very well. William Nylander had a big part in that game. So if there's... Oh, my God. I hate ne William Nylander. I hate the Chicago Blackhawks. I can't cover that? Of course I can't. Oh, they missed the net. Oh, what a break for me right there. Whenever William Nylander is on the ice, you have got to scout him out. You cannot allow him... That was a nice body check, by the way. You cannot allow him to get time and space to do anything. I don't care what it is. You can't even give him time and space to think. You have got to allow your goaltender to be able to think, though. And if there's one thing we learned in the last game, Chicago can whip the puck around. I mean, admit it. You feel sorry for me on some level after the last time we were in this arena playing the Blackhawks. It was the last game of the last episode. That's blocked. Oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding me from that angle? I need to see the replay. It's painful to watch. But I need to see blocked right to Lindholm. I mean, it's I have been given a foundation of bad luck every time I play against the Blackhawks this season. The incredible tic-tac-toe through the crease passing in the last game of the last episode. And now it's the, oh my god, blocker safe. Big rebound as well, but then it was Elias Lindholm's lucky break on a blocked shot on the first goal at an intervention in this one. I don't even know where the puck is. I mean, I like it because it's it's activity, right? It's it's action that I'm getting to see, which I've I've asked. Oh my god, hold on, one second, hold that thought. Whoop, 360 no scope. Oh god. Uh oh. <laughs> the post. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a careless play and Jordan Everly, if he had a little bit of accuracy he would have scored a goal here comes Reichel pass yep no save get up oh that was a quick recovery I can't even continue my thought process oh I didn't need to do that but that was a break for me that, that it was blocked this time oh my god the Blackhawks are relentless I need to be on this team this is exactly the team I need to be playing behind Oh my god, man, I'm, I swear, I'm having, I'm having panic attacks every single rush play the Hawks get in this game, especially with this line's on the ice. Bedard, no! Oh, no, Bedard, he snipes it and he celebrates in the goal crease. God, I hate playing against this team. This is depressing. That's got to be their, I assume their top line. Bedard with Nylander, they just have my number in this game mode. Here they go again. Nylander to Bedard again. No. Oh, oh, God. Why am I still in here? We have never start. I swear, Coach Krause, this is an insult, brother. You never start me against Chicago ever again. I literally have my... No I'm about to start. You know what? Screw this. I'm, I'm pissed off. I'm starting to fight. I need to get the Blackhawks off their game. And uh, it starts right here. Right now. Screw you. I'm, all, I'm coming down to your goal crease, son. Let's go, Spencer Knight. I'm going to send you to the Shadow Realm. The Blackhawks have practically sent me to the Shadow Realm just by scoring goals against me. But look at look at my faux hawk. Isn't that a sick faux hawk? I can't even get a fist on Spencer Knight's face right now. Uh, well, I got plenty right there. And if anything, that was a well-deserved fight. If anything, 
that at least gives me, uh, gets me to release my aggression. Frustration boiling over. Frustration has completely boiled over. And I just went full Patrick Waugh on Spencer Knight from the Detroit Avalanche rivalry. It's look, it sparked the team. We have a goal now. See, the, the boys, they, they noticed. They said Vince is getting angry. He had to come out to Spencer Knight's end of the ice and fight him. We need to get a spark here. We need a little electricity. And maybe I get Spencer Knight off of his game, a little CTE for the good old brain there. Not that I would actually joke about real CTE because it is a very serious manner, but this is a video game. And in the video game world, CTE is, oh my God, I'm gonna have CTE. I, I, why can't I play the puck? Oh, nothing's going right for me right now in Chicago. I don't, I'm not allowed to ever step, oh we, oh my God, we are within two. Holy crap, see? And he's pointing at a fan. Colton Perico with the celebration. I love the cockiness, son. I love it. Now, can you go out and do that two more times and tie the game? I've completely gotten Spencer Knight off of his game. It worked. My fight with him. I should have just started the, the whole intervene, intervened period off with a fight. We should have just had a Tilly right at the beginning of the period. It, it might have actually helped our team's favor. Oh, God. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, you were pu they pulled me. They pulled me, they literally pulled me right now. Okay, I can go. Thank you, boys. I appreciate it. 30 seconds to go in the game. I didn't realize they were pulling me for the extra attacker. I'm on the bench now, so this is not my fault if we get scored on, change the camera so we can see what the hell's going on. We're not gonna score in two goals in 19. This camera is really awkward from above. There we go, Lindholm empty netter. That's just an easy free goal, but at least I wasn't on the ice for this one. Well, that's back to back. Shameful defeat at the hands of the Chicago Blackhawks and not the kind of mood that I wanted to open this episode with. I'm done with with everything. I was going to say I'm done with playing the Blackhawks, but I'm just done in general. I mean, my, uh, my attitude, you know, I was enjoying this game. First and foremost, I was starting to believe that we could start to string together some great starts in a row and be consistent enough to maybe be the number one line score just keeps tanking bro i don't know what to tell you my confidence is at an all-time low and i i know for a fact my days in st louis are certainly numbered they be they may be numbered all all the way to the summer so we may still be here for the rest of the season that's fine with me but i am I'm done with this Blues team unless there were unless there were to be major overhaul in the summer. I'm I'm done. And they would gift me with a start against the Oilers. God, Coach Kraus, you are so insufferable. Oh, from Blackhawks to Oilers, it doesn't get easier. This, in fact, to me, this gets rougher than the Chicago team we just played. First period, McDavid score, Dry Seidel. Nope, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. From the corner, great goal. Way to give that up. 18 shots faced. Okay, I'm going to back off myself a little bit here. 18 shots in the first period and only one goal. That's a workload. Second period of play. And the Blues score three total. Not in the period. Three goals total in the game so far. I am, I am facing 32 shots with one goal against. There is no pressure on this situation now. Let's go in here and get it done. All right, I'm going to try to turn the page on the last couple of games that we've had. Uh, specifically, they were both against Chicago. But this is a good Oilers team, so it's definitely not going to get easier. But there's a nice easy glove save. Now, that might give us the confidence we need to come out here and... Okay, oh my god. I got to move. Okay, why am I not in free skate mode for that? I was pressing down the X button. And, uh, you know, I had to rely on my defenseman to do his job, which he did. He did do his job, so I can't chew him out for that. Oh! Pool blocker save! That, we should have given up a goal on that. I'll take it. Nuge, it goes to the middle. This is sloppy as all. Get out, nurse blocker. We're leaning in the shots and making saves. All right. Back to the point again. It goes, nurse. This is a mess right now. We can't get the puck out of our own zone. They had full pressure. Back in it goes again. Nugent Hopkins from an odd angle. No. No. Okay, we sealed that post off. This Oilers team, holy crap. They're not as they're not as threatening as the Blackhawks were, but this is quite the start after I jumped into the gameplay. 
Let's go get some possession on the opposite end of the rink here. Oh, and Saw tucks it five hole. All right, it didn't take very long to go get one and the goal support is much appreciated. I would obviously prefer to not give up any goals after taking control of my goaltender in the game if we can make that happen. All right, Blues, just 13 minutes. That's a lot of time, actually. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's not a lot of time, but it feels like an eternity right now to me, especially if the Oilers get the puck hemmed in in the attacking zone. Just make one save at a time. Don't think too much too far ahead of the game. Just make one save at a time. Blocked. Roslovic. Oh! Ooh, what a save. None more closer than that. Oh, my God. What a save on Jack Roslovic. My nipples are twisty fresh right now. Holloway, save, extra twisty right now. The Oilers are, I mean, their chances are not necessarily as dangerous to me as Chicago's were, but they're throwing everything at the net. And oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, it turned it out, okay. All right, no, oh, short side, you suck. You, I, we couldn't get that covered. It's, it's one unfortunate bounce after another for me right now. Um, and I can, deal with giving up the second goal in the game that's fine i'm not gonna have a piss fit about that goal but yeah we cannot allow another one now we definitely can't get scored on again oilers are not gonna give up if anything they're probably gonna press great d play by nick letty if you guys would have played like that in the games we played against chicago maybe my save percentage would look a little bit better and that's a nice snipe bar down rob thomas Oh, it was deflected. Okay. Bray and Shen deflects a shot from the point that I had no commentary for. I was not expecting a shot there to go in. And we have back-to-back -back goals. And if you want to feel bad for anyone, feel bad for Auntie Ranta in this game. He's getting a taste of what I experienced against the Blackhawks. Not going to lie, it feels kind of nice to see it happening on the other end of the rink for once. Uh, but, you know, I'm part of the goaltender union, aren't I? I I'm supposed to cheer for... All the goaltenders in the league. I'm not supposed to make fun of my, um, what do you call it? I can't think of the word for it right now. I'm focused on stopping Connor McDavid. Uh, well, Petrangelo, or Petrangelo, who? No, no, Klingberg, God. I don't know why I said Petrangelo, but he did a great job stopping McDavid himself. The word I was looking for, by the way, was counterpart. I'm not supposed to make fun of my counterpart on the other end of the ice. Well, to hell with it. I'll make fun of anyone I want to. I've, I've experienced plenty of misery playing in St. Louis at this point. I'm just ready to get through the end of Season 3. I'm glad we're doing the quick simulation through the first two periods of play because it makes it so much more tolerable to play this. I made a save on that. Well, I mean, when you can't see the puck and you just kind of have to hope it hits you, it's always surprising when you do make the save and you'll happily take the save. No bad turnovers here. I, do, I don't know what's up with our defense and their handling of the puck at the neutral zone. We got turnover after turnover right now. Well, I, it looks like I'm going to get out of this period almost scot-free. If I didn't give up the Holloway goal, Nurse dumps it in from center. And that is it. We secure victory. I only gave up one goal in the intervention portion of the game. And two goals total on the night. I think I almost saw 40 shots. May have seen more than 40 shots. Well, I don't believe it. A 56 positive line scorer. Wow. I needed that. You don't know how much I needed that. And I faced 40 shots exactly. That's the... And I got C's across the board. <laughs> I can't believe it. What, what would have happened if I got A's across the board? How much line score would I have gained? Maybe Coach Krause is starting to believe again. He goes through a period of, of belief and disbelief all at the same time. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable for him. Uh... But yeah, I faced 40 shots exactly. 950 save percentage. And imagine if I didn't give up the goal to Holloway. It would he, it would have been even better. I think Coach Krause just didn't like the way that Holloway scored on the short side. So he's deducting a little bit for me on that one. Well, I don't do this very often. But I am going to break this up a little bit and show you the standings. There we are. 40 points. And 7th in the, in the Central Division as of January 19th. So we're mid-January. This is the point in the season where I was originally going to make my request for a trade. Now, of course, we requested one in the last episode. Didn't go down so well with the 
GM, the coach. That's why I lost minus 100 line score. I forgot about that. <laughs> I did lose minus 100 points in the line score in the last episode just because I asked for a trade. And um, yeah, we're still not a playoff team. But it's not, um, it's not entirely dire right now for us because the Blackhawks are sitting at 46 points with 44 games played at this point in the season. So we could still make the playoffs. What's going on in the, uh, what's the other division? The Pacific? So the wild card at 47 points in the Pacific division. So it's very feasible. We could still make the playoffs. We need to go on a run. And uh, I need to actually start backing up this St. Louis Blues team in the net. Now, we've been doing a better job over the last couple of episodes at that with the slider adjustments. Um, but then we have the odd game like the games against Chicago. Oh, please, please, not another game like the Chicago games that we played in this episode and the last one. So first period sim. And I can deal with that. I can deal with the Joe Pavelski goal from the point. Normally, he's scoring them on deflections in front of the net. But okay, second period of play. And here, there we go. We got a lead. Rob Thomas gets one in the simulation. 2-1 to one, St. Louis. And I have to, again, do the job in the net. All right, look at this sick jersey matchup. The Stars, okay, the Stars maybe not so sick. The all-white jerseys and everything is hideous. Well, the white pants with the white jerseys looks terrible. But the jersey design itself is pretty sick. Uh, and then we, of course, got the blues in their alternate uh, powder blue, whatever color you want to call that. Sick jerseys, either way. Interesting matchup. Playing the Stars, and oh my god. <laughs> you just know, when I see that one-timer being wound up, I just go into a panic attack. And this is the Stars' top line with a bunch of X-Factors on it. So they probably got like a bunch of slap shot and one-timer X-Factors. They'll probably get a goal here. Oh, that was handed off and intercepted. And now Kairou can go with it through center. Handed off to Thomas, has a goal in the simulation. And it will be kept in by Dylan. Down the Kairou in the slot. Perico blocked trying a second time in a row. Robertson dumps it in. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. It's out of play. Had I freaked out. That was one of those plays where it looked like it hit the stanchion, it, which it did. It did hit the stanchion. But it looked like one of those plays where if it went in the net, it could have counted. But the officials deemed that it went out of play. And uh, so we'll take a face off there at, at uh, center ice. Here comes Jason Robertson. Pass back through the... Nope. Down low. Oh, man. I, I hate that short side. I really hate that short side post. I'm always guilty of pulling myself off the short side post, and I just give the AI a little bit of room, and they don't need much, and they will score on you. If you are on the short side like this and you just pull off a little bit, they are going to score. Nice. Oh, we pulled that puck right back toward us. I'm trusting you, Perico. Probably the only defenseman that I trust to hand the puck off to in my goal crease. Everyone else will just score on me. I forgot where, but Ryan Graves went to play somewhere else, and I, I have no idea where he is now. Certainly not in St. Louis anymore, but his specialty was scoring on his own net while I was here. Or when, well, while he was here. I'm still here. Is he, what is going, what is going on? He's pushing on Ottinger. I've never seen that. Normally the goaltender is off limits. Except for me, you get up in my grill, son, you're gonna find out real quick. Gonna learn today. And it's season three as well, and Joe Pavelski is still playing in the NHL. I have no idea how freaking old Pavelski is at this point. He's old. Definitely an old man at this point. Oh, and that's a goal. Hints on the one-timer. And is it? Is, that's the second goal I've given up in the game, I believe. So I can deal with that from a save percentage perspective. I still didn't want to give up another goal, though. It is a quick bang-bang play. It is. But uh, is there anything I could have done? Maybe come out at the top of the paint and challenge more. But there's a guy literally standing right next to the goal crease. Can't cry about it for too long. Just forget about it. Move on. Next save opportunity. Just got to make the save on the next opportunity that I get. There's a penalty coming up to the Dallas Stars. I think I should probably head to the bench on this one. Or will we, we will not score on the delayed call. This would be a great chance to regain the lead. Where's the puck going? It's going to Klingberg. They're, they're getting a lot more loft on the puck. And they're clearing it almost the full length of the ice. It goes in. The Stars run into Ottinger. And they cause a goal against on their own goaltender. Definitely need to get a look at this replay. I need to see exactly how this went in. Saved. 
Yeah, I don't know that so much... I don't know so much that the guy that ran into Ottinger caused the goal. As much as it just leaked through him. Yeah, it leaked through him. And then, yeah, he got that ass backed right up into his face. Well, there you go. There you have it. Power play goal. And a, t a lead, not a tie game anymore. A tie game no more. It's a guaranteed win if you don't allow the Dallas Stars to get a shot on net, right? I mean, well, I don't know about that. It's still not a guarantee. Uh, a lot could still happen, and the Stars are offside. There, oh, forced through the goal crease off of an odd rebound. That does keep the Stars in the game, so they still have a chance to tie this. I am all about not allowing them to tie this game. I don't know if it really matters for us if we'll make the playoffs, but I guess every point for this team matters right now, and I just want the stats, really. I want the stats. Oh! Saved while hugging the post. Stand-up style. 1980 save, baby. And a goal. Ripped home from Robert Thomas. And it's a hat-trick goal as well. He is feeling it. Okay, so would Dallas consider pulling Ottinger and maybe dumping the puck in? Get the puck in deep, right? Oh, the net is empty. Roberts in the hints. Oh, my God. Hug the post. Hug the post. Hug the post. Yeah, no short side for you today. Well, I may not get a shot at that empty netter. Blocked away. Would the Stars please dump it in? Please, 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 please. Oh, I'm, I'm out of the net. I cannot be out of the net right now. I can. I can't. Oh, my God. This is chaos and craziness all at the same time. Sagan to Robertson. I got to make a save here. I have to. Oh, that made it! Yeah! Oh, what a stop at the end of the game on Sagan. And even though I didn't get my empty net chance, I did shut things down. Man, this was a wicked kind of last moment in desperation save. And this time it works out for me, stacking the pads. Look as we go out to stack them, we kick it with the pad right back out into the slot. And I had nothing to lose but to just make a save. I just didn't needed to do anything possible to make sure a save happened. And I did. I did it. That could be a thumbnail, but I'm not sure. I got to decide between this one and the fight we had with Spencer Knight. And just like the line score couldn't stop going into the negative, now it can't stop going into the positive. And it's a 933 save percentage. 30 shots faced. Two goals against... And a beautiful save at the end as well. That could have easily been a goal for T Sags. Um, if I, I mean, could we maybe become the number one goaltender before the season ends? I mean, could I make quite an impression on the Blues? Either way, I'm not staying here. This is this performance is all about trying to impress potential suitors in free agency. I'm just trying to get the best deal possible. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Those three games there. Pretty decent episode. Two out of th two good games out of three games is not too bad, if I must say so myself. We'll pick it back up with the next one. We'll see you in Pittsburgh for the next one. You can see our team is the 24th best team in the league. So if we are going to make it into the postseason, we need to go on a hell of a run right now. It has got to start right now.